What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back. <clears throat> it is still Tuesday, July 12th. And it's a dodgeball type of day. Folks, I can't wait for tonight. Two dodgeball games. And listen, if you never played dodgeball before, it is the most tiring thing I've ever done in my life. I play softball, I play kickball, constant running and moving, but this is nonstop moving your feet. You gotta dodge, duck, dip. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get way out the ball. Oh, and it hurts to throw the ball because it's so light. You try to whip it so hard that you did like your arm's gonna come out your socket. It hurts. I'm winded. I usually sit the second game. I might need to move it to game three so I can play one game one, two. Take a break three, come back four or five. If it goes that far, we are undefeated. Hopefully we get another two wins tonight, go to four and zero on the season. This is the first year to doing it. I firmly do expect a championship. Now, <clears throat> haven't given you an update on my dog in quite some time. So before we get to the video, let me update you on my dog because I get a lot of questions about him. Everyone knows he had some major surgery. Well, I think we're like four and a half months into it. He's finally walking on that leg like full time. When he wants to like go fast, he'll pick it up and he puts it back down every like third, third like hop, skip, whatever you want to call it. The first starting to grow back over the leg. So hopefully we can remove the cone from him and maybe a month, maybe two months. We'll see. But he's doing great. It, it's been a long, tough, strenuous process. A lot of swimming to get his leg moving again. Uh, but he's back. My man is back. I'm happy. He's happy. Love to see it. Now. Let's get into this video. What you're about to find out, what we're about to talk about. In video, in video earlier today, I showed showed you that video that didn't have the sound. Well, guess what? It was my fault. The sound wasn't working. I fixed the sound. So I'm going to replay it for you so you can hear the words coming from Hugo's mouth himself. We're also going to talk about the Ripple vs. SEC update on the lawsuit because we got some good news that kind of went low-key underground, but we got you covered here. Now, the G20 Financial Stability Board and Crypto Regulations coming in October. This is huge. It's not getting enough coverage. I'm going to go over the article and a key key point to the article that they uh, they touched on and they told us about. Plus, I'm going to go over it again. I'm going to go over the Lux Lions metaverse each and every single day until that whitelist comes out because I do not want to hear anyone saying they didn't know they missed it because this is going to be an opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the metaverse to get it on the whitelist to make sure you secure your plot of land because I'm telling you right now this island is going to sell out now let's head over to live coin watch let's do a quick refresh just for the heck of things huh what are we seeing well you still seeing a lot of red out there nothing has changed too much Bitcoin $19,716 Ethereum $1,063 XRP coming in at a mean lean 31 cents Bitcoin dominance is still in the range of 42 cents as the total cryptocurrency market cap is under 900 billion we were making that push to a trillion i think we got stuck at like 963 back down we go as you know my stance on the market i firmly do believe there is another deeper down in us about 10 to 10 to 12 10 to 14 thousand dollars for bitcoin is what i see i do believe xrp is going to get around that 25 cent region i think stellar is going to get down to about five cents <clears throat> i got my eyes on another couple of coins as well that i will be releasing in the patreon group that if you're not a member of it i don't know what you're doing because you should get to be a member of the patreon group now today's featured product and there's only eight of these left it's a 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler comes with lid straw two-day shipping it's free you need to get yourself one of these because once this color is gone the color is gone i think the next color we're going to go with is going to be a black cup time will tell now sp investments puts this out and this is regards to bitcoin <clears throat> excuse me my throat's closing up a little bit he's saying it's decision time what's going to happen are we going to break below 19,611 and we're going to head down to the 17,000 dollar range are we going to come back up and prop up to almost 22k time will tell I'm a believer we're going down, <clears throat> but I'm also a believer that we might get a little bit of a, a relief rally before we go back down. So I'm on a borderline, uh, you know, both both uh, sides here, but I don't care what happens today, tomorrow. I care about what's going to happen over the long term. And over the long term, I know where the price of XRP is going. Now I showed you Jed's Michaela's bounces earlier today. Still 13730000 That's going to be down once he sells later today. I'm excited. Get them back down into that nine nine million range, give or take. And now, J Jacob King put this out. This is in regards to the FBS, the Financial Stability Board. Listen to this. 
states the Financial Stability Board has just announced they are working on a robust regulatory framework for crypto assets in September. This is the beginning of crackdown and regulations of crypto assets. Things are about to change a lot. Now, I've been talking about this for quite some time, that no new money is going to enter the space until we get crypto regulations and we get policy. Well, if the Financial Stability Board is going to calm down with worldwide regulations, uh, guidelines, policies, this could be the crackdown that we are talking about. This could be the dip that brings us down. Tether might finally be exposed. And you know what happens? If Tether blows, Bitcoin's going to blow. It's going to take the rest of the market down with it. I do firmly believe that once Tether blows is when we finally get the decoupling of assets because we all know that Bitcoin is not going to lead the charge. Bitcoin is not going to be tethered or, or paired to every digital asset out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's not how these markets are going to work. The markets are going to work by utility. Utility are going to lead the way for these digital assets. Not everything is going to be clinged on to Bitcoin. Could you imagine if you invest in the stock market and every time that the Amazon stock went up and down, it dragged your Apple stock with it or your, your Exxon or whatever other stock you had? Things don't work like that, right? Now, Lux Lions, Metaverse, it's coming. The Oasis is coming. Whitelist coming. Very, very special pricing. There will be three tiers of pricing. I'll tell you right now, tier one is going to be the cheapest prices you have ever seen for a plot of land. Why? Well, because I've told you from the beginning of you going to get into my project that Ripple Van Winkle was going to take care of you and he is taking care of you. But if you don't get a beat, if you're not a member of that whitelist phase one, part one, well, I don't know what to tell you because you want to be because between one, two and three, there is a difference, folks. There is a difference man crypto where he puts this out this is johnny deaton on the jacoby robinson podcast listen up there's this concept now jacob that i think is going to be taught in law schools called decentralized justice right not just the decentralization of blockchain and finance but i go on twitter and i say i need this and i have hundreds of people who find it for the uh, the internet sleuths that are out there are unbelievable they're unbelievable crypto law i would tell anyone that's interested you and there's no sponsors i don't make money this is all out of my own pocket created a video library where i'm backing up everything i say so when i say to you these conflicts of interest and i say to you this or that you can go to crypto law go to the video library and because i've been able to utilize this decentralized justice and i i ask people for things and they find them, we then put them on that site and it's a timeline and it goes through the Hinman speech and it goes through the secret meetings that, that led up to the Hinman speech when the E3 pass was given. We have just all the evidence. And so that's been like a phenomenon that has been very beneficial. So it's, it's a very unique thing and I think it's going to lead to innovation itself and in how you information source things, I guess is the way to look at it, right? And so crypto law, we've been able to use, the, I created an app where all you do is put in your address in the United States and you can send a message and it goes, and you just hit enter and it immediately goes to your Congress representative and the two senators in the state. And we've created. Listen, I am so glad that this man is on our side. Over 50,000 messages sent to every Senate representative, 27,000 international XRP holders have had their voices heard as well. He is fighting the good fight, and I cannot wait for him to go after the SEC when this Ripple case is over. Now, Talked to you earlier. I thought uh, there was rumors flying around. A lot of people messaging me. Jed McCaleb has left Stellar. Well, Weezy chimed in. He goes, there's rumors about Jed leaving Stellar. Not sure about them, but he did recently make an investment in Socket, which looks mostly Ethereum-based with several Polygon devs. Interesting. Could, it, could this mean something? We don't know. I mean, but rumors are going. Rumors are flying. What's up, right? And then Mac Attack, here's the article. This is talking about the G20. Talking about the regs, here's the most important statement I want you to, to get from this. It says the G20 has thus far restricted itself to merely keeping an eye on the cryptocurrency market. No, noting that it has found no compelling reasons to strictly clamp down on the industry because it poses no systemic risk. The Financial Stability Board, which is made of Treasury officials, 
and central bankers from the group of G20 nations announced on Monday that it would no longer just monitor space, but propose strong worldwide regulations for cryptocurrencies in response to the recent upheaval in crypto markets. Folks, this is big. This is coming three months away. They're going to have these, these guidelines, these policies out worldwide. This is what we need. This is what we need. You get the FSB out there dropping worldwide regulations for cryptocurrencies. It is game on. We will finally get some clarity and understand what we have to do out there, what needs to be done. Now, let's jump over to this. James K. Fallon put this out just yesterday. I didn't have a chance to cover. We're going to cover it now. Judge Torres has granted in part and denied in part the party's request to seal documents in connection with the Amica motion to participate in the DeBrat proceedings. Proposed redactions are due by July 15th, three days from now. Hogan chimes in. He says, listen, Judge Torres is not allowing the SEC's expert opinions to be sealed just because they might inflame the public. Not only does she not allow the parties to keep relevant documents from the public, as to this motion, she chills the SEC's pending motions to seal. It's a two for one. I like two for one specials. It's like a little BOGO. This is very, very good news. The SEC is not going to be able to hide or seal the expert, um, expert witnesses motions or responses. This is what we want to see, but you know what I'm still waiting on? And I know what you're still waiting on. We're waiting on those Hinman emails. I am telling you, those Hinman emails are going to be the end of this lawsuit. It is very important that we get the ruling on that. I, she never takes this long. I think we're three weeks, going on four weeks in. She never takes this long to give us a ruling. It's almost like this is being delayed on purpose. The SEC knows that they don't want this to come out something is cooking something is brewing i hopefully it is cooking in the right direction and hopefully it is going to go in our favor because we need those emails folks that's going to do it for me though wash your damn hands be nice and be kind of each other ripple van winkle is out